Hi, TK students. It's Mrs. Belatesh, and I'm out in my backyard. I love being in my backyard because I have a lot of plants, and I can listen to the birds, and I just love being out in nature. We've been learning about wood. We learned about what things are made out of wood, and one of the things I want us to talk about is how we can change wood, how we can use materials to change wood. I can use a saw and I can cut wood into pieces. But that's kind of dangerous, having a big saw. But you know what? I can change wood with just this. I have this stuff called sandpaper. And it's lots of little tiny pieces of sand and they're glued onto some paper. There's some paper on the back. And so they make the paper rough, right? That's a property of this paper. It's rough on one side and it's smooth on the other. And if I take this sandpaper, which is rough, I can change some wood and make it smooth. Isn't that interesting? So I got a stick and my stick is all bumpy right now. It's all bumpy and very rough. And I'm gonna get my sandpaper and I'm gonna rub it on my stick. And I'm gonna rub it over my outdoor table because I wanna see what happens to the stick um, and if something comes off of it. I don't know if you can see, but there's some things that are falling onto the table. I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, I did some sanding. That's what it's called when you use sandpaper and you rub it on things. It's called sanding. And I sanded my stick. Remember how I said it was really rough at the beginning? Well, here's the part that I have not sanded. And it is still very bumpy and irregular and rough. But when I go up here, wow, it's so much smoother. I used the sandpaper, I rubbed it on the stick and it made the stick smooth. And there's no splinters in it. There's, oh, the wood is smooth and really nice. And I did not do it up here. And that's also very bumpy and rough up here. So the sandpaper can change the wood. I, and I want you to see what happened to my table. All of this little dust came off of my stick. Here's my stick that I sanded, and you can see rough down here. I did not sand this part. Ooh, this part is so smooth because I used it my sandpaper. And up here, it's rough again because I did not use the sandpaper. Where I did use the sandpaper, all of this dust came off. And we call this sawdust. Even though I used sandpaper, the dust that comes off the wood is still called sawdust. Okay, so you saw how we could use sandpaper on a stick. Remember our three pieces of wood? I want us to use the sandpaper on those pieces of wood and I wanna see what comes off of those pieces of wood. So I want you guys to do this with me, okay? It's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna start with the particle board and I'm gonna see what happens when I use the sandpaper on the particle board. Ooh, I see lots of pieces coming off. Ooh, and it's getting smoother. Is that what's happening with you too? It's getting smoother? Okay, I'm gonna try, now I'm gonna try the plywood, the one that has stripes in it. One side of the plywood was rough. The side with the stripes, it was a little rougher. But if you use the sandpaper on that side, it gets smoother. I can change the wood by using my sandpaper. Now I wanna try this one, the one that's just the plain wood. I'm gonna give it some rubbing with my sandpaper. I'm gonna rub the corners. And I think
think I can make my corners not so sharp. I can round my corners. Oh, and I see lots of sawdust coming off of my wood. I didn't sand this side. But here, it's a little more round. And if I use my sandpaper longer, it's going to get rounder. And do you see there's all this dust from the sandpaper? The sandpaper is breaking the wood into tinier, tinier pieces, and it's a little dusty. And you can see that dust from the wood on my table. All of that wood came from sanding the little wood pieces. This piece of wood in my house is so smooth. It's not bumpy at all. There are no splinters. What do you think they used when they were making this furniture to make it smooth? They used sandpaper. My dining room table is so smooth. I don't feel any splinters. What do you think they used to make it so smooth? Yep. They used sandpaper. The hardwood floors in my house are so smooth. There's no splinters. What do you think they used to make it smooth? Yep, they used sandpaper. Hi, TK students. Let's take out your science notebook. And last time, we drew a picture or you drew something that was made of wood. Now, let's turn the page to your next page. And it says, and I wrote this. You don't have it written yet, and you don't have to write it. But the question I want us to answer is, how can I change wood? What did we use to make the wood smooth. We used sandpaper and we can use sandpaper to change wood. So I'm going to draw my stick and at first I'm going to show it bumpy. So I drew a stick and I drew some little squiggly lines on the outside of the stick to show that it's bumpy and rough. And then I drew a piece of sandpaper and I put all these little dots on it to pretend that those are pieces of sand glued to the paper. And now I'm gonna draw a picture of this stick after I use the sandpaper. I'm gonna show it being very smooth. And here I drew this stick after I use the sandpaper. And I put a number one here, meaning this is what it looked like before I use the sandpaper. And this is what it looks like after I use the sandpaper. And then I wrote a sentence and it says, sandpaper can change wood. TK students, we're gonna continue learning about wood. Next week, we're going to look closely at sawdust and see how it is different from wood shavings. I'll see you next week, cougars.